Okay, so just in general, do I think that posh show lives are ruining whatnot lives? No. No, not at all. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, click the thumbs up, leave a comment down below. <laughs> totally just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome. My name is Jenna. I haven't done a video in a while. So let's kind of dig right into it. I am a whatnot seller. I do sell on the whatnot app. I have been selling on this app for eight-ish months, I think nine months maybe. And I am also a reseller in general. I do resell on the other platforms, Poshmark and eBay. Now I will say I used to sell on Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, Depop. I attempted Etsy once. So I do have some experience with other platforms. Mercari, nothing against Mercari. It's just since I started Whatnot, I, I really only like toggling three different platforms. I feel like anything else is spreading myself too thin. So Mercari kind of just didn't make the cut, but I am considering bringing Mercari back versus Poshmark. So I do not sell Poshmark Lives. I have not applied to be a seller for the live shows. So I'm not really going to talk about how those shows work. Just know if you don't already that Poshmark does have an option now where sellers can do live auctions. Basically it is a what not duplicate. Um, uh, some people might not agree with that because they feel like Poshmark is a higher end platform, which it was in my opinion as well regarding clothing. People are going to spend more money, but since they're starting these auction formats alive, just like whatnot, basically they're turning it into a whatnot. Um, I don't see any point switching from whatnot to Poshmark because I am doing well on whatnot and I have already invested, like I said, about eight months into growing a whatnot platform. So I, I wouldn't give that up for Poshmark. I also don't feel like it is, um, there's any point to doing both platforms unless like you're just experiencing uh, or like trying them both out and seeing which one it, which one's for you. They are very, very time consuming. Doing auction formats like this, you have a lot, lot more items to process, a lot more shipping to do, packaging to do, a lot more orders to double check um, on top of any other platforms that you might be selling on or any other type of businesses you might be running or working in or anything like that. So to do two auction platforms like this, I feel like that's calling for a quick burnout, but everybody's different, so maybe it's just a burnout for me. Um, I would not recommend it, though, not for long-term scope. So what I feel like is since Poshmark has started their live shows, I feel like there are less sellers on whatnot. There's less shows being scheduled on whatnot, uh, which is great news. It's great news for us whatnot sellers who are still continuing on this platform, have no interest going over to Poshmark or have not been accepted onto the Poshmark lives yet because you do have to apply to sell live on Poshmark. Uh, so hopefully, you know, it's kind of tricky right now because whatnot has always kind of come in waves, you know, some some there's like a big influx of buyers and sellers. Sometimes there, you know, it changes. So for me though, I have seen a pretty steady flow. I do things very sporadic though. Um, I don't really push a lot of my shows like onto social media platforms or things like that. But I have seen very good success throughout my shows. Some shows are better than others. Sometimes there is a miss, but sometimes I have a really good hit out the park. So I'm just gonna continue doing whatnot shows. I have not seen a decline in buyers on whatnot. I have not seen a decline in viewers on my show. I have not really seen a decline in sales per average of my shows. So it has not affected me in any negative way as far as, you know, Poshmark doing their live shows. I feel if anything, it is only good news for whatnot users or for whatnot sellers rather. Now, do I think Poshmark is going to uh, succeed long term with these lives? I feel like they definitely can. I feel like it's possible. I feel like buyers are enjoying live format buying. I feel like it's very convenient, it's easy, especially once they get to know a seller. The seller kind of becomes their personal shopper. 
they start picking up uh, um, items that they know somebody will like or like for me I will do that if I see something and I know right away like okay oh so and so likes anime or so and so was looking for you know 3x dresses or so and so really likes aloe leggings so I start picking these items up and I can reach out to these buyers and tell them hey I found some of this if you want to check it out I'm gonna have them on my next show if you want them right now I can you know work out a, uh, a deal and I can put it by it now however you like so I do think that this is a really good format of selling in general the whatnot lives the Poshmark lives that you know eBay lives um, we're not gonna get into eBay but I don't think that to me Poshmark is, is just second rate to what whatnot has already done and continues to do and I feel like this may just hurt the the Poshmark sellers on Poshmark because if anything it's going to just bring the prices down for a lot of items it's going to drop comps for a lot of items it's going to change buyers mindsets and mentality to want even cheaper priced items from what comps are already showing or what their items are already listed at at a discount price um, and then it's going to bring in an influx of new buyers, yes, but they're going to be buyers with that whatnot mentality, with that lower price mentality, people who love to do auctions. You go to auctions to get really, really low prices or to find fabulous items. So the only items that I think are going to sell extremely high value or for close to market or over, you know, what you want for the item are going to be extremely unique items. But when it comes to clothing, that's very, very hard to find. That's very hard to offer to buyers. So it's kind of like a dime a dozen. You're going to see flannel shirts everywhere. You're going to see rompers everywhere. You're going to see jumpsuits everywhere. You're going to see Lululemon everywhere. You're going to see all of these items everywhere. So why would a buyer want to spend more when they can spend less? So hopefully, hopefully that's not the case. Um, I have already considered kind of backing off on Poshmark a little bit and moving more towards Mercari because Mercari does have a lot better platform, I think, for all of the things versus just clothing. And clothing has always done very well on Mercari for me also. Plus it's lesser fees. It's lesser. <laughs> Plus it's less fees on Mercari. Um, and that's another thing, like Poshmark sellers, they are selling their items for more if they're coming over from whatnot. So they are selling their items for more than maybe what they would sell them for on whatnot, but not by a drastic amount more, not by a lot. Like maybe they would sell it on whatnot for $7 and they're selling it on Poshmark for $10, $15. But think about the the fees. The fees are higher on Poshmark, so you are paying more. You do kind of have to do a little bit more work because people still expect to see your items like in your store so the photos the measurements all of that versus on whatnot you really can kind of just show items as you go you don't have to have everything completely set up and the shows that I've been watching on Poshmark the ones that do better are the ones that have their items fully listed with photos with measurements basically like they're just taking them off of their Poshmark store versus adding new stuff just for the auction so I think there is more work involved on Poshmark and I think there's higher fees on Poshmark. So for me, it's it's totally not worth me switching from whatnot to Poshmark to maybe make a little bit more money, but to st have to start all over again on a new platform. I have invested about eight months on whatnot. I have seen nice growth, steady growth. Um, I'm doing very well. I don't have any complaints over as far as a seller goes on the Poshmark site. Very happy with it. So I'm not going to abandon ship for Poshmark. I'm also not going to spread myself that thin and do both. I don't think doing both platforms is maintainable for the long run. Not at all. It, they're very, very time consuming. These auctions are extremely time consuming, especially if you are doing all the prep work in advance to have like a beautiful store to show, to have all the measurements that people may want, to have a nice setup, nice background, good music, uh, to have prizes, to have games, to have giveaways, you know, whatever you might want to do. It is definitely a lot of work. And then the aftermath of packaging everything up, shipping everything out, 
carrying all of the stuff to the post office or you know whether you do pick up or anything like that it's definitely a lot of work so i don't think that anybody can maintain both successfully for a long term now i did consider trying poshmark just to try it to really try it for myself and experience it ultimately though deep down i feel like it's going to be a no for me and the only incentive to try it would just to be to say okay i tried it um and also i have a feeling like my first show would be very very well because i have seen a lot of sellers that transferred from whatnot to poshmark their first shows go amazing they go extremely well they sell out if not most of their items um and they sell them for a very nice price they make really good money but then after that, it starts to steadily decline. So the sales start to go down, the amount of viewers start to go down. Um, and what that is, is that just tells me that it's just, it's support from friends, from other resellers, from the community, really just trying to be there for the seller and get them hyped and excited and make sure that their first show goes well and is not a disappointment or that they're not up there alone or anything, uh, which is amazing. But I felt like if I did it for that reason, it would be kind of, icky like it would make me feel just a little bit not right just hoping that my friends and followers and supporters will come and buy my stuff just because of the hype or you know to show that extra support or something like that um it wouldn't be like just authentic buyers that are just coming and buying my stuff i'd have to put time into it just like i did with whatnot i'd have to steadily grow um, and I don't want to invest that time, especially right now do, doing fourth quarter. So that's what I feel about Poshmark. Um, their Poshmark shows, they're called Posh Shows Live. So compared to, you know, Whatnot Lives, um, I, I feel like Whatnot is just fine for me right now. Maybe in the future things might change. Uh, we'll see though. Let me know if you've tried the Posh Shows, the live Posh Shows, or if you've tried Whatnot, if you've tried either, how you feel about it, if you want to try either. Very curious if you are selling on Poshmark doing the live shows, how you feel, or if you're selling on Poshmark and don't plan on doing the live shows, if you think that they are going to be good or bad for Poshmark sellers. As far as Poshmark goes, I think that they're going to be very good for Poshmark because even if they start bringing in cheaper buyers and the items start selling for less money, uh, Poshmark is going to see a huge influx in sales because so many more items are going to be selling. So versus a seller who might sell, you know, two items a day, if they have a Posh show, they can sell 20, 25, 30 items. Um, if they have a Posh show, you know, two, three, four times a week, maybe even more, and they sell 20 items a day instead of two. I mean, I hope you get what I'm saying that, yes, the items are selling for less, but overall Poshmark is going to be making more money. So is the seller. Um, so it's going to kind of cut prices down, but it's bringing the bulk buying, bulk selling mentality into play. So not all sellers can maintain that. Some sellers have to, you know, buy one-off items and they want those one-off items to sell for their asking price or pretty close to it. Uh, these sellers, I worry, may be in trouble a little bit. I don't know. It might be a little bit like too soon to really tell. But if this is how buyers' mentalities are going to be going with, you know, whatnot, with Poshmark doing the live shows, uh, I don't know, something to think about. Let me know also, what do you think? Am I just like, you know, way, way off on that? Or um, I feel like there's something to that, but it could still go either way. It's still a little bit new. Um, either way, I'm selling on whatnot. My link is down below if you want to uh, follow me on whatnot. It's going to be a referral link, so if you have not been a user on whatnot you can use that link and it will give you ten dollars off of your first purchase on whatnot after you make your first purchase i also get a ten dollar credit so much appreciated if you use it uh, like subscribe all the things and i will hopefully see y'all soon bye